XRP XLM altcoin season, you got to see the news that I want to share with you. Along with stable coins and treasury bills, crypto bigs making some buys, and Mr. Beast in trouble for crypto. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Well, happy Halloween, crypto and Web3 fans. We're going to talk about 2121 along with crypto altcoin pricing. But before we get into that, your comments come first. Hot, spicy, naughty, relevant. Maybe I'll share it at the beginning of the next video. Sean Sheeran says, oh, Klaus, honestly, you make our day. Look, I bring you the news, whether it's good or bad, happy or sad, and I appreciate all you viewers. Gramps D63 says, bro, you didn't just expose Focahontas, but every politician in Washington. Look, it's not about exposing these people about being losers. It's about voting them out. The only result that matters at election time is if you won. Oh, but bro, we just exposed Warren and her anti-crypto. Who gives a fuck if she wins the election and still wrecks the hell out of crypto? Johnny Pena says, Grayscale pulling the old, just the tip, with XRP as it slides it into the SEC. Yeah, Grayscale's trying to convert one of their large cap funds that has some XRP in it. It has mostly BTC and ETH in it, and what they're trying to do is this, go, yo, SEC, it's mostly BTC and ETH, there's a little XRP in there, There's a little. just, just ignore the XRP, approve this ETF. If so, that would be the first ETF XRP action, ooh. Ooh, red on the screen, altcoin season. Let's get into price and then talk about it. Bitcoin's sitting at 70,715. ETH is 2558. I'm nervous about my race in two days, but that's okay because BNB's at 577. Souls at 170, while well, XRP is at 50.9. Support about 50 cents. We'll find out. Caspa pumps and dumps and pumps and dumps along with DOT pulling back. Sweet holding on to the $2 mark. Oh, election coverage. Some of these states here are very competitive, but oh, Deaton State is not. Anyone want to take me on that bet? I'm betting up to five figures that Warren is going to win, and those five figures are going to help me buy a new ride. That's right, Daddy will use your money if you want to bet against me with his new whip, and then Daddy's going to play just the tip with his wife. Yeah, so bet me against Deaton. I'll take your fucking money. MicroStrategy reveals a ploy to raise $42 billion. Basically, what they're doing is they're doing $21 billion now and $21 billion again in a little bit. Basically, within three years, MicroStrategy is trying to buy more BTC than the combined market cap of XRP, XLM, and then some. Put that into perspective. One company is buying more BTC than XRP and XLM totally combined, and then some. Honestly, they're about $9 billion short. Think about that. Caspa, eyes reversal after a 50% slide from all-time high. Come on now. If you're not convinced that crypto, it's all about pumps and dumps, just playing the dips and tips, then I don't know what to tell you. Caspa, a project utilizing proof-of-work consensus mechanism, reached an all-time high at $0.20 cents before experiencing a significant price decline a lot of people took profits now look when you click on caspa you see exactly the story that i'm telling you right now it's all about pumps and dumps everyone and we'll swing it on over to the six month chart and you can see got to that 20 cents and has since then been on one heck of a decline eroding almost 50 percent u.s treasury links crypto stablecoin growth to rising t-bill demand whoa 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 Stablecoin staying juicy as a lot of people are parking stablecoin money with T-bonds. These records from October 29th reveal that as crypto backs stablecoins grow, so does the interest in treasury bills. Meeting attendees discuss the potential of tokenizing treasury assets on a blockchain, possibly a permission blockchain specifically for T-bills. In this closed session held by the U.S. Treasury's Borrow Advisory Committee, several high-profile Treasury and Federal Reserve officials were in attendance. The committee included a whole bunch of people. Basically, what they're saying is this. Stablecoin action is up, and we're noticing it is as T-bills go up, stablecoin action is up. Are people starting to park their money into stablecoins more and more and more? Crypto.com acquires Watchdog Capital in a move to the U.S. equity market. Crypto people have money. When they have money, they're going to buy distressed assets. They're going to buy them for cheap and hopefully turn them around. 
in a strategic move to expand its presence in the traditional finance world, Crypto.com has acquired Watchdog Capital, a U.S.-based broker-dealer registered with the SEC, so they could sell stocks. Stonks. You want to go play the tip with just some stonks? You're welcome to do so. As a broker-dealer registered with the SEC, Watchdog Capital provides a platform for tradition traditional assets such as stocks under regulatory oversight by the Financial Industry Regulatory Authority. Mm, okay. Crypto.com's entry into the regulated U.S. equities market signals its intent to integrate traditional and digital finance. Again, this is good news for crypto. Integration of traditional and, yes, digital assets. By the end of the year, Crypto.com will offer a full range of services through its family of companies, including crypto derivatives and now stocks. This coming from CEO Chris Marsalek. Mr. Beast, and then we're going to get into XRP, XLM, altcoin season news. Mr. Beast linked to over 50 crypto wallets allegedly involved in insider trading. Look, I'm going to be honest with you here. A lot of people liked Mr. Beast back in the day, but then they saw greed take over. So why wouldn't greed with crypto then take over as well? A recent investigation has linked popular YouTube personality James Donaldson, otherwise known as Mr. Beast, to over 23 million in alleged profits from various cryptocurrency trades that may involve insider trading. Uh-oh. According to a report by advisory firm Look.io, a group of on-chain investigators claims that Mr. Beast and his influencer network used their social media presence to promote and profit several crypto tokens at the expense of investors. You remember all those coins that BitBoy was pumping to? Pamp, I mean pump, and they made all that money on insider action, and Mr. Beast is doing it, and I'm not shilling you anything. I just bring you the news whether it's good or bad, happy or sad, and you decide if it puts a smile on your face or a frown on your face. I'm not here trying to tell you to buy, sell, or do whatever, giving you the news so that you can make the best choices. Now let's talk about XLM price action because honestly, it's been boring. I mean boring. A one-year look at the chart saw that XLM in March earlier this year went north of 15 cents. Since then has not even gotten close to it. The scary part though about this story is this volume movement right here. Okay, check this out. Back then, right? 187 million in volume. Now, I'm just talking about March of earlier this year. 266 million in volume. Half a billion in volume. Now, 44 million. 32 million. 73 million. 47 million. 55 million. Back then, just a simple seven months ago, 188 million. Half a billion. 600 million. Half a billion. 270 million. Honestly, you're seeing a lot of players pull away from XLM because there's no juicy pumps and dumps. I mean, what are you going to do? Since August, what have you been able to play with XLM? Now, granted, I get it. If you're long, you're like, bro, stack, stack, stack. But that's cool because if I zoom out even more, you're like, oh, fuck, what am I stacking for? Now, if you think XLM could get back to some ATH as hell, if you think XLM could get back to 20 cents, you could easily double your money from now. But will it get back to 20 cents? Volume for XLM has been garbage. And we've seen short-term traders, swing traders, and those who like to get in on action aren't preferring XLM. And in fact, the longs aren't even preferring XLM as we're seeing them gobble up other things. Yeah, Caspa was one of them. But now, like I said, pumps and dumps. Sweet pumped during this. ICP pumped during this. BNB sold a whole bunch of things pumped while XLM has been dormant AF. Altcoin season, only thing that could help XLM right now is if rates come down really, really fast to make risky laggard assets like XLM perform. It's not stellar. You really think stellar is going to make the price of XLM go? Look at this chart. Look at this and tell me anywhere on this screen. Do you see news where XLM did something that pumped the price or where stellar did something to pump the price of XLM? I don't think so. XRP, again, support north of 50 cents. You saw it clear as day just a few days ago. Again, we went down there to retouch and test stuff, but I'm not really too worried because the story with XRP is pretty simple. SEC, case lumen overhead. Regulators not too friendly with XRP. Now let's do this. Let's zoom out with the one year ago with XRP, and you can see clear as day there have been a lot more pumps to play with XRP which has kept a lot, lot more short-term money involved. Now, when you look at XLM, you're like, okay, 
obviously there's not much short-term money involved in here. It's not always about long. Sometimes you want that short-term juicy action in to pump and start creating these FOMO events. But right now, XRP is waiting for rates to come down as well. That will help with adoption along with expansion of crypto products and offerings and people wanting to buy it again. Because as money becomes cheaper, people are going to be willing to take a risk. The reason I'm bringing up XRP XLM in this risk basket is because we've seen they have not performed well against market averages. When you compare XRP XLM to the rest of this big blob up on the screen, especially BTC, you're not seeing the performance there. You're honestly not at all. In fact, XLM and XRP 80 to almost 90% away from all-time highs, while BTC is just a couple percentage points away. So altcoin season, no, not right now, because right now the market is dominated by BTC. In fact, dominated by BTC, 57% dominance by one thing. The rest of the market's fighting for a chance to live. So altcoin season, when is it going to be altcoin season? How do we know it's altcoin season? Well, it's obvious when the alt actually start pumping. But right now, Bitcoin is an absolute vacuum, sucking up tons and tons of capital. Right before I went on to do this video, I was reading about BlackRock, record-breaking BTC ETF days. MicroStrategy wanting to put $42 billion, billion into BTC in the next three years. XRP's market cap is around 30 billion. XLM's is close to three. Think about that. It is BTC dominance all the way right now. Now, do I wish it was altcoin season? Hell yeah, because I love me some alts. But I can't report to you fake news. I can't fake the funk. I can't tell you I'm going to put the tip in and just ram the whole thing. And no, that'd be wrong. It is Bitcoin season. And as long as Bitcoin is winning the store of value play, as long as the world is hectic and chaotic and people are looking for a safe place to put their assets, BTC will keep dominating. But we need that news. We need those rates to come down so those risky alt assets can finally start doing something and finally start coming to fruition with all that juicy action that's been promised. But we got an election first we got to get through. We got rate cuts. We got CPI data. We got a whole bunch of stuff, including, oh, I'm sorry, no new regs this year. But wait a minute. Haven't you been watching channels out there where they tell you, oh, we're getting regs in 2024? And I keep telling you, no, you're not. No, you're not. It's probably those same channels that tell you that Deaton's going to win. And I'm telling you, no, he's, he's not. Other Republicans have a chance to beat Democrats and help out with pro-crypto stuff. But Deaton really doesn't have a chance in hell. But remember, it's my job to bring you the news, whether it's good or bad, happy or sad. And I know that makes some people sad and it makes some people unsubscribe. But that's because they're Weenie Hut Juniors and only like Hopium Maxi news. That's not what you get with this channel. You get it all. The tip, the whole thing, laying pipe. Mm. Happy Halloween. Race day in two days. I'm getting nervous. Choo-choo, bitches.